Welcome to part three as my winter continues. Now I've got a 6.30am flight in the morning from Geneva Airport and as you can probably imagine um, hotels around Geneva are very very expensive. However this place just four miles back over the border into France uh, is just £30 a night. There's a chain called Formula One. Very basic shared shower, shared toilets but it's a bed and it'll do for the night. It's 4.30 on a brisk March morning. Next stop, Brussels. Now this just feels weird walking around by the airport without a mask after nearly like two years. Now originally I was supposed to fly to Brussels next week to see Avril Lavigne in concert but due to um, COVID complications she cancelled the tour. However with flights at just kind of £45 return um, I thought I'd still come actually see um, a bit of Belgium as it's a country I've never really seen much of before. So we're on a 180 seater Airbus A320 and there is literally about 15 people on this flight. So last time I was here at Brussels Airport I was transiting on my way to Prague for my birthday four years ago. So the plan is to do a quick whistle stop tour of Belgium's major cities um, over the next 36 hours. So my first stop is to Antwerp, then to Gant, um, to overnight in Bruges and then back to Brussels before flying out tomorrow evening. Welcome to Sunny Hand Twerp. So this is one of the most bizarre stations I've ever been into. It's kind of like you've got trains literally on like four different levels. So that's Antwerp done. Uh, next stop, Gant. So this has to be one of the most bizarre streets I've ever come across in all my travels. It literally is just a complete walkway with just graffiti either side of it, even though there are a couple of kind of nice pieces of artwork, but as you'll see, it's very, very unique.
Now, Bruges has been on my bucket list um, for a few years now, since I saw the Colin Farrell film in Bruges. Um, but now I'm actually here, I'm actually a little bit disappointed. Um, it's amazing what some camera trickery angles can do to make a place look more appealing. Um, yes, it is beautiful. Um, yes, it's got some stunning architecture. Yes, it's got wonderful stone cobbled streets. But I don't know, I think I've enjoyed the other cities I've been to today more. to in Belgium. So I was sat on the platform at Bruges Station, just about to get a train to Brussels Airport, and I looked at the next platform beside me, and there's a train to Ostend. So, well, I quick jumped from the train line out, and here we are, the beach. Well, this is the first. I've never been on a tourist beach that's got a whopping great gas pipeline going the length of it. But hey ho, welcome to Belgium. So I've got about six hours now to explore Belgium's glorious capital city. London's got Big Ben, Paris with the Eiffel Tower, and Brussels have got this. EU Parliament building. Yeah, I might try and beg for an EU Parliament whilst I'm here. Well, this is kind of quite an impressive place. I couldn't come all the way to Belgium and not have a Belgian one. Lovely. Geneva, Geneva, Geneva. Oh well, until the next trip. Now this is the town of Meteo, the bottom of the famous ski resorts of Courchevel, Maribel and Bertrand. And for years, every Saturday, I was based here on a transfer day. Um, however, I never actually got to have a look, kind of proper look around the town. And it's said to be one of the most amazing places for street art. So I thought, it's a day off, so I thought I'd come and check it out.
uh, tonight I'm in Grenoble, which is kind of like France's industrial capital for a concert. Um, so I've got a couple of hours to kill before the gig tonight, so I thought I'd have just have a bit of a look around. Well, I'm back in my favourite French budget hotel chain in Formula One for tonight, where this evening I'm off to catch the lead singer uh, of former 90s MTV award winning band Queen's Reich. Um, it's going to be a quiet, quiet, small concert, but hey, let's rock. <laughs> Well, that was fun. It's the end of March, and as you can see, the snow is getting very, very thin on the ground. Definitely need some more white stuff. Well, that's it for part three. Now, join me in for the fourth and final part as my winter in the glorious French Alps concludes.